welcome to Stream Writing Comics, first one of the year. What? It's Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018, yes. and we are here to tell you about all the new comics that are coming out this week, but first, as you can see, we are one person short this week. Um, as Sarah said her goodbyes last week and moved on to her new endeavor, we are bringing in another cast member to take her place. You'll never guess who it is. Who do you who think it is? Be? Who could it be? I wonder. It's a uh, mystery. It's me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Your new cameraman and fact checker. Ask your questions. I'll answer them. But now back to the palatable faces. <laughs> oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. <laughs> go on. No, really. Do go on. <laughs> So, as always, we'd like to let you know of all the upcoming events that are um, on the calendar for January here at Green Brain Comics. And coming up in about a week and a half, we'll have our first open game day of the year, and that is going to be Saturday, January 13th from 1 to 4. And the featured game is Rick and Morty Anatomy Park, the board game. And Shane is going to be doing the demo. All right. Dan will also be back doing a demo too, although he hasn't announced what game he's going to be doing. But the feature game is going to be the Rick and Morty Anatomy Park game. So be sure to come by and check out the open gaming if you're not interested in playing Rick and Morty or you want to play something that's more family friendly. We have lots of other games to choose from. You're also welcome to bring your own games. So there's some there's fun for everybody all around. Come play some games with us. Yay! Also that weekend, we want to make sure that we mention that the Senate Theater, which is a newly renovated uh, classic old movie house built in 1926, is showing, is having an anime fest that same weekend, and that is January 12th and 13th, Friday and Saturday, and on Friday they're going to be showing Akira, and on Saturday they're going to be showing Nausicaa, which is one of the really early Miyazaki films, and also Perfect Blue. So be sure to check that out if you're into anime on the big screen, which is pretty cool because those movies don't often get showed in a, in a big giant theater atmosphere. And Friday night, they're also going to be having a cosplay um, opportunity, I yeah. guess. Like, you're welcome to come in and, and wear your cosplay on Friday night as well. So be sure to check them out at thesenatetheater.com for all the details. And friend them up on Facebook. Oh, yeah. yeah, follow them up on Facebook. Um, later, that, later this month uh, on... Wednesday, January 31st, we are going to be bringing back our book club featuring the classic Watchmen. Watchmen. Because of all the excitement with Doomsday Clock and the button, we figured now's a perfect time for people that read it a long time ago to have a chance to talk to people or new readers that are Such just discovering me. it now mm -hmm. and all can come together, talk about the book, because it is such an extensive book, we are breaking it up into three separate events and... This will be the first of three. We're going to be talking about chapters one through four. So you only have to read the first four books, first four chapters, first four uh, like episodes, yeah. individual issues yeah. of Watchmen to participate in the book club. Uh, so come on by, talk to other people about Watchmen, and it's going to be a good time. And that is, again, Wednesday, January 31st from 6 to 8. So come in. And talk to us about Watchmen. <laughs> and it's going to be our first book club on Wednesday evening. Yes. So you, uh, you Wednesday warriors, you'll get your chance to participate. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Ooh. Are you ready to talk about comics? Comics Yay. that are fit to eat, I mean read. <laughs> <laughs> that was Sarah's favorite line. We can't leave her out. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> hey, before we go into it, got a question from Eddie Alicia asking if we got the new Dogman yet. I believe Dogman 4 came out a week oh, or two yeah, ago. It did, but week. we were sold out. Did we get them back in? Ooh. I guess we'll find out as we go further down the line. Yeah, you know what, Eddie? If we did sell out, I'm sure that we can order it back in stock for you. Just let us know if you want it, and we will make sure that we get it back in for you. All right. And yeah. now to the comics that we're going to eat. The Zoom in on those comics. DC. You want me to do DC? Yeah, because I want to do Marvel. <laughs> Aquaman. Uh, the Water Bearer trade paperback. Also, on the upper shelf, we got The American Way, number five of six. This Aquaman volume is a reprint of the old Rick Veach storyline. Mm. Uh, back when he uh, Aquaman... <laughs> Had a watery hand. Uh -huh. Oh, right. And an extra muscle. Look he lost muscles. He lost the hook. <laughs> he got a magical water hand. Magical wow. water hand. Interesting. Which apparently there was a tease for the for the Aquaman movie with a hook in the background. Oh. 
So Ooh. that's on people's minds. Hmm. Also available tomorrow, Batman number 38. Everyone's really loving this Tom King Batman story. Batman Annual, number two, second printing. For that those is that... on the year-end best of lists all over the internet. Wow. Oh, Very yeah. Very happy to have that back in print. Also has a Tom King story in there. Nice. It's all Tom King. All Tom King. Nice. The thing. Shadow, the Shadow and Batman, number four of six. Batman and the Signal, number one, from the pages of Metal. And that is a three-issue miniseries <laughs> co-written by... The writer of Metal, Scott yes. Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> also, the very anticipated Batman White Knight. This series is also going like gangbusters. Uh, people are really digging it. The the switching of the, the characters, as it were. Number four of eight. Black Lightning, number three of six. Cyborg, number 20. Doo, 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 doo. Up on the top shelf, The Fall and Rise of Captain Adam. Ooh. Trade paperback. That, that's a trade paperback collecting the mini series that came out last year. It hits shelves just in time to fuel the rumor mill of who is Dr. Manhattan. <gasps> oh! Dun dun dun! What? Oh! A tie in? Which also, you know. Huh? 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 Maybe. Oh. Deathstroke number 27, Green Arrow number 36, Green Lanterns number 38. Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica. What a crazy meetup. Four of six. Injustice 2, number 17. Justice League, number 36. Nightwing, number 36. Superman, number 38. Dastardly and Muttley, number five of six. The Jetsons, number three. And Snagglepuss. The Snagglepuss Chronicles, number one. Exit stage left. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of buzz about this title. It is written by Mark Russell, the guy that brought you the Flintstones series from oh. DC Hanna Barbera last year. Uh, critical hit, and I think we can expect some more here. Yeah, we got the the triple threat here from Hanna Barbera this week. Oh, <laughs> oh. cool! Oh. <laughs> What's next on the Marvel shelf? Ooh. Time for me to talk about my favorite superhero like ever. But first, Black Bolt, number nine. And Rise of the Black Panther, number one. Look at all this cool Black Panther things we got in today. We got Color Your Own Black Panther and Black Panther, the Ultimate Guide. On our very top shelf, we got this huge book, The Illustrated History of a King, another Black Panther book. It's so big, we needed two new tags for it. Oh, yeah. So it's new, new. It's too new. <laughs> It's double new. <laughs> oh, and I do want to point out the rise of the Black Panther. It's got this photo cover with the honky actor playing Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman. Mm -mm. Yes. And <laughs> this is also written by Ta-Nehisi Coates, writer of the original Black Panther series. Or um, by original, I mean the regular ongoing series, not the original, original, original. It's a lot of originals. <laughs> yeah. Captain America, number 697. That's Dan Lane's pick of the week. It is. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, number 150, with this cool lenticular cover. It's kind of cool. Whoa, Look at that little whoa, effect whoa, there. Whoa. <laughs> Featuring the return of Adam Warlock. Oh. Just in time to shut down this series, actually. This is the oh. final issue. That's the end. But it's teasing the Infinity Quest. So I think it's not going to be too long before we get more Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah. Also, we have Hawkeye number 14, which is actually KVP's pick of the week. And they're smooching. Is that what it looks like? <laughs> is, that, is that what it looks like? He looks pretty surprised. Yeah, he does. For the smooching. Iceman number 9, as well as Iron Fist number 76. Just look at this beautiful Kevin Watt cover, though. Oh, it's so pretty. Also featuring a little guest appearance by Dakin, son of Wolverine. Oh. Dakin. With his Dakin? top knot. Dakin? Dakin, Dakin. Dakin. I don't know. That's a great thing about comics. <laughs> Pronounce them the way you want to. You know what I like best about him is his top knot. Nice. <laughs> hey, Benson says, good to see you all. <gasps> Benson! Yay! Hi, Benson! <laughs> Happy New Year, Benson. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! On our upper shelf, we have the Inhumans. Beware the Inhumans. Huh. Cool. <laughs> There's the 
Medusa. Classic reprint from the bowl. Bronze Age of Marvel's Inhumans. Neil Adams. Oh, very cool. We also have Phoenix Resurrection of Jean Grey number two. Does it have a different cover? Yes, it does. Ooh, nice. This this series is coming out weekly. Oh. It did real well last year. Or last week, I should say. It's well, coming it was out yearly. Last year. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's the first time I'm right when I make a mistake. Rogue and Gambit, number one. Ring of Fire, part one. Yay! Spider Man Deadpool, volume four. Serious business. Spider Man, number 236. The Miles Morales Spider Man title. Which I would love for them to put Miles Morales back in the title. Yeah. So people know what they're buying. They got him on the little corner box, but yeah. <laughs> also, we've got a Happy New Year from Nikki Love All. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Thanks for tuning in, Nikki. <laughs> we also have Astonishing X Men number seven and X Men Gold number 19, as well as X Men Grand Design number two of two. Oh, this is the end. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> I believe this is going to be three two-issue miniseries oh. for a totality of six issues, oh, wow. uh, and then recollected very similar to Ed Pisker's Hip Hop Family Tree. That's cool. So do you know, these came out like at, at a two-week interval. Do you know how long it's going to be before the next two-part miniseries starts? Is it going to be another two weeks, or is it going to be like next month? Or I think there's another break for a month. And then we'll get more Ed Pisker X-Men Grand Design. This book is so cool. It's my pick of the week again. (laughs) It's awesome. It is basically boiling down 40 plus years of X-Men continuity into a digestible chunk of Ed Pisker goodness. Mm. And let me just address Benson's note of how Fred would have loved all the Phoenix Resurrection stuff. I know they've been bringing out a whole bunch of reprint stuff all month in anticipation of Phoenix's return. And I think of him every single time I see a new book come out. And it breaks my heart. But he would have, he would have just loved it. Loved it. And moving on to Star Wars. Star Wars number 41. And Star Wars Forces of Destiny. Leia. This is also a weekly mini-series of one-shots. All different creative teams, I think all female creative teams working on spotlight books for female characters in the Star Wars universe. Mm -hmm. Hey, Winston. Hey, Winston. (gasps) Winston! And moving on to teen and young adults. Do you want to announce any new announcer Dan or do you want us to just continue well I think while I'm touching on this I want to mention that we have a new printing of Anya's ghost Mm -hmm. back in stock this is the square fish format from first second a little bit more trim on the cut size and a little bit more affordable too it's awesome having this book back in print It's a fantastic YA graphic novel, I think, that appeals to some of everybody. Hmm. It's really good. A really nice collection of the Boombox mixtape one shots. Uh, We've been longtime supporters of Boombox and their various titles that are family friendly and lots of fun for everyone. And this collects all three of them. Oh. Including. It's like Lumberjanes, mm-hmm. uh, Brave Chef Brianna, I think, it also debuted includes, in there. Yes. It yeah. also includes Cyanide and Happiness. Oh, it's right. It's a comic. And everybody's favorite, Teen Dog. Teen Dog. Teen Dog. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very cool. Got the new second issue of the Ghostbusters Answer the Call miniseries. Another new issue of Giant Days. And the second issue of three from Goosebumps, Monsters at Midnight. Ooh. <laughs> it's a quick, a quick visit to the YA shelf, but full of fun. Oh yeah, so much fun. I love this shelf. It's one of my favorites in the store. 
So much cool stuff on it. And we're moving on to the All Ages shelf. We have Cosmo number one. This Ooh. looks pretty cool. A new version of a classic Archie character, Cosmo. I think it maybe taps into the Sonic the Hedgehog type of style. Oh, yeah. It might appeal to that same type of customer. Very cool. Hey, Philip Little asks if we got any Valiant in stock on Wednesdays. Hmm. And we always get the new Valiant titles, and I believe we got a little preview of one coming up very soon. We'll get to the other side of the store in just a few minutes. Stay yeah, tuned. stay tuned. Stay tuned. And we have Popeye, number 65. <laughs> Spinach sale. <laughs> Another classic Yo! book. Great to have this Bud Sagendorf reprint back on the shelf. And on our very bottom shelf, oh, we don't, have... Don't forget oh, the oh, Simpsons. Oh, oh, let's not forget the Simpsons comics. Game mm. on. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Do, do, do. Oh. <laughs> and on our bottom shelf, we have more Black Panther. What? Look, it's a Black Panther Adventures Digest. So this is perfect for those little all-ages readers. And little golden book of Black Panther. This is just awesome for the kids that want to get into the newest superhero that's joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe in its own movie. We also have Step Into Readings, DC Superhero Girls Butterfly Battle, DC Superhero Girls The Big Splash, DC's My Girl Power Journal. Which is really cute. This is a um, like an interactive book more than a comic book where oh, they can write in cool. all the stuff that, you know, uh, what would your superpowers be or sketch, you know, your favorite thing and then coloring pages and just all kinds of fun activities. Oh, that's awesome. It's a, like an activity journal uh, for a complete interactive experience. And last but not least, DC Superhero Girls, Harley Quinn at Superhero High. Uh, that's part of a series of young reader novels that have been doing really well. Each one spotlights a different character of the DC Superhero Girls. Harley Quinn being the newest one. Yeah. And while we're over here, let's uh, go back to the question about Dogman. Hey, Eddie, it looks like we are tapped out on Dogman Volume 4, but we will be getting that back in stock as soon as possible. Thanks for asking. Now, we got another half of the store to look at. <laughs> yes! Also, to remind everybody, first off, that the December to Remember Art Exhibit will be coming down on January 7th, so this is the last week to come in and see all the great art in person and some of which is for sale and available. And also to remind everybody that all the Marvel and DC clearance back issues are now five for a dollar and they are going fast. I don't know if you remember when we started, it went all the way around the corner and now this is it and these bins are emptying out quick. So they're gonna be gone really soon. So get while the getting's good. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Never to return, 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 return. You don't spoil all the art, make them come in and see it in person. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and as always we're adding graphic novels to our graphic novel clearance bin at 60% off I add new books in this bin every week come in and check out the new selection the indie clearance back issues are still five for a dollar and also going quick going quick yes sign them up quick, quick, quick. get them all the getting's good there's still a lot of good stuff in here and then we also have our 75 and 90% off graphic novels this is it. When these are gone, they're gone for good. This is our, our closeout specials. Move them out. They need to find new homes. Mm -hmm. Pennies on the dollar, folk. Lots yes. of value for your money. Oh, yeah. Fill up your bookshelf and your heart. Aww. Aww. For February. Yeah, keep that genuine face going. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> and moving on to our action adventure show, we have Birthright number 29. Watch Bark! <laughs> it's like Watchmen, but... The Cerebus Aardvark has returned. That's cool. <laughs> Crosswind, number six. Cerebus the Aardvark. This is the final issue of Gail Simone's miniseries over at Image. Oh. It's a very cool crime suspense novel with a Freaky Friday twist. Oh, Freaky Friday. <laughs> I don't know movies. if that's still a thing for, for the new generation, but... Yeah, I, I actually really like that movie. <laughs> Elsewhere, trade paperback. Extremity, number 10, which is another lane pick of the week. 
Lane, not lame. <laughs> <laughs> Generation Gone, trade paperback. Is this volume one? Yes. Oh, man, that was such a good, good book. If you uh, are a fan of Akira, oh. it is right down that same angle. And heck, if you're a fan of Extremity, too, works right along with it. Oh. Are you going to try to pronounce those creators' names? It's Ooh. Alice Cott, maybe, mm -hmm. and Andre Lima Orawa. Uh, you were doing really good right up until that last <laughs> one. Araho? Araho. Maybe. <laughs> we also have Giants, number 205. And on our top shelf, we have Chilling Adventures in Sorcery. Ooh. A cool Frank. <laughs> a cool Frank Avia cover on oh. this classic reprint of horror stories from Archie Comics. Oh, Archie Sweet. Comics. The Grave Diggers Union, number three, which is a Wes Craig book. This is pretty cool. I've really been enjoying what's happening so far. If you like supernatural horror-type comics, this is probably a good one for you. Ooh, nice Toby Cypress art, too. Oh, yes. Here's another thing to pronounce. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make this one up, too. Koshai the Deathless. It's my pick of the week. Mm. And it's from the pages of Hellboy... I even flipped through it, and it's got a little appearance from Hellboy. Oh. This is pretty cool. Written by Mike Mignola with art by Ben Stenbeck, who was the artist on a lot of the Baltimore graphic novels. Oh. James Toots, the colorist. But oh. He is such a prominent colorist and has won numerous awards for wow. his coloring um, prowess that he gets featured. He gets uh, billing just like the writer and artist uh, right on the cover. That's really cool. Go Dave Stewart. Go Dave Stewart. Hey, while we're at it, let me answer a question. Do we have many copies of Chilling Adventures? We got a couple. We got a couple. Just a couple. So uh, don't wait too long. Louie is watching. Hey, oh, that's Louis. a different Louie. Oh, nope. no, that's Louie. Oh, no, that's Louie. That's Louie's <laughs> spy name. I didn't see a oh. picture of, um, of uh, the other Winston. <laughs> <laughs> we also have number one with the bullet, number three. Paper Girls number 19, which is another one of my favorites. Giant Robot! It's also my favorite. In fact, Shay and I both were vying for that to be our pick of the week, but and then to not steal it from the other person, we each picked different books. Yeah, that's how it works. Because, you know, democracy. <laughs> hey, Jason just tuned in, too. Hey, Jason, thanks for, thanks for signing in. We have Planet of the Apes, Ursus, number one of six. He's got a cage with apes on his head, or with humans on his head. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Mm. And there's a different cover in here, too. Oh, Ooh. look at that nice. gorilla face. Ooh, a Mike Allred cover. Nice. Oh, nice. <gasps> Rock Candy <gasps> Mountain number seven. <laughs> the Collective Gasp. We are all, everybody in the shop is reading this book, and we all love it silly. This is a great, a great fun read. The Hobo Jungle Action Fires Adventure. Reading. Yes. Hobo action adventures. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's a genre. Ho ho hobo action adventures. Oh, yes. I'll make sure we're pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> Scales and Scoundrels, number five, which is a really cool book that I like. Yeah, good for fans of D&D. Yes. Classic sword and sorcery. Mm -hmm. And dungeon crawl and fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, Happy New Year, Jason. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. You and Sarah. And here's one of the Valiant books. Secret we carry. This came out this week. Secret Weapons number zero. Number zero. So this was a series beforehand, and now they're taking it back to the beginning? Is it like her childhood or something? Yeah, it's a prequel to the miniseries. That's cool. There's a lot of history with these characters, but uh, it's good to see a revisitation. This did really well, and it's from the uh, the writer of the of the miniseries, too, Eric Hesserman. Good. It was Hesserer. good. It was really pretty, too. It had really nice art. Yeah, I like it. Is it the same artist in this number zero as the I don't Mises? think so. This is Adam Polina, oh. and the other was uh, Raul Allen. Oh. But uh, Adam Polina is a veteran comic artist, so it's good to see him back in print. We can always take oh. a look. Let's take a look. It looks very similar. Oh, that's nice. But I like it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's real good. I like it. I like it. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Oh, Speaking of up. <laughs> Let's not forget. Oh, this, this would have been my other pick of the week right here. Right here the Big Hard Sex Criminals, Volume 2, from Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Mm -hmm. I love read. this book. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It is exactly what it sounds like. Exactly. 
sex and crime. So this is the the hardcover edition collecting uh, the issues that came out after volume one. Mm. Usually the hardcovers are three of the soft cover volumes. Uh, they bounce around, give or take, between maybe two, two and three. Mm. We could probably get a clue from the price if it's a. Uh, oh right, so it's it's somewhere in that in that area, but yeah, it's, it's good stuff. It's fun. Sex criminals is, is a good time. We got just a couple more things left on the action adventure shelf. We have John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction Vortex issue three of eight, and. Whoa, guys, Walking Dead, New World Order, number 175. It's a new story arc. It's such a monumental issue. They did two covers. Check out this sweet... Bill Sienkiewicz. Bill Sienkiewicz. Sienkiewicz. I always knew it as Sienkiewicz, but I've been corrected that it is Sienkiewicz. Oh, wow. Hmm. But, okay, sure. you know, I guess unless we meet him in person or have someone tell us exactly, do you know exactly how to pronounce Bill Sinkowitz's name? <laughs> <laughs> Type it in. <laughs> Type it in phonetically. <laughs> I met Bill once. I shook his head, hand. Wow. I didn't shake Why his. would you shake his head? <laughs> I shook his hand and said, thanks for the great art, and then I moved on. So I didn't, didn't ask say, him how to how do you pronounce, pronounce your last name? name. I'm sure every third person He's, in line did. It's probably there. There's probably a sign on his table. Yeah, <laughs> like a phonetically spelled out sink uh, wit sandwich. Google it. Let's Google, Google it. it. Google has all the answers. Thanks, Google. Over here on our indie graphic novel shelf, where you got a another what was it? Fish. Square fish. Square fish edition of the Silence of Our Friends, which. Also has been previously released and released again in this new, more streamlined format with art by Nate Powell, who was the artist of March. Oh, that's a great book, too. Mm. Uh, I Am a Number by Ryan Hughes and Siren School by Isabella Ratman, which is a pretty cute little mini comic about um, how sirens now take their uh, their ships down. <laughs> oh. It's a cute little fun short read. Ooh. Oh, ben, Benson has chimed in oh. and corrected us by saying Sinkovich. Sinkovich. All right. Thanks, Benson. All right. Nice. Always the expert. And that's it. And that about wraps up. It's a little um, short list this week, but we still got a lot of great stuff. So come on in, check out what we got. And if there's anything that you saw that you want us to hold for you, if you can't make it in first thing, feel free to call us, email, uh, Facebook message, and we will do our best to hold books for you. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Happy oh, Wednesday! Happy Wednesday! Bye. <laughs> happy New Year! Happy New Year! It's Mr. Hand. You gotta um, turn it off to make it stop filming. <laughs> <laughs> no, on, no, this is Chop fun. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Benson. He just says the store looks amazing. Aw, thanks, Thank Benson. You. And he says you all look great. Oh. Aw. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everybody. See you tomorrow.